All right, so this is uh, Dad's Dungeon, uh, which I had to admit that title kind of scared me. I'm like, what the hell is Dad's Dungeon? Um, but uh, it's one where uh, Finn and Jake's dad makes a dungeon to toughen up Finn, which, of course, you're like, well, wait a minute, Finn's pretty tough. I mean, he's, like, the toughest, probably the toughest person in the show, honestly. Uh, and uh, But the father <laughs> just his sees him as a baby. a callus. <laughs> yeah, his whole body's a callus, a great line. Uh, but he sees his, uh, he sees him as a baby, literally, he's holding him as a baby, so he's got to tough it up without realizing he's a baby. <laughs> so obviously it doesn't make much sense, so he just assumes he'll still be like that. And uh, he leaves these video messages, and so they go through the dungeon, and... Uh, uh, Finn's feeling bad because his father was gone him all these mean things on the videos. Uh, but then, by the time he finishes the dungeon, the father says, you know, Oh, Finn, I'm proud of you. That gives him the strength to actually finish it. And then they get this pretty cool-looking sword, actually. I thought it was a legitimately awesome sword. Um, I don't usually see, like, an entirely red sword. That's just, that's very distinct. That well, just it's made out of demon's it. blood. Yeah, that, that's awesome, too. <laughs> and then the demon tries to come back to get the blood, but then they just played the little message that the dad said before to get rid of the demon, and uh, they say dad was awesome. Do da dun pancake! <laughs> no, you're not a demon. I'm going to get rid of you. No. I'm an angel. <laughs> no. Thanks. No. Hey, if you're going to talk, you would be in the videos. No. I'm Ghost Princess. <laughs> no, she's not in. Remember, she's gone. God damn it. No, maybe this is what the 53rd level 50 of, of um, hell. Ghost <laughs> Hell is. Yeah, which. I'm sorry, this is your 53rd level of hell. <laughs> it's. It deserves the name. <laughs> okay, so, um. You know, it's. <clears throat> the. Whatever. The lesson to learn in it, I mean, is. It, it was unexpected, like, you know, the father to be saying that kind of stuff, but I mean, it's, it's just sort of a, hey, be smart, don't change yourself, and be tough, and, you know, you'll get through fine. Uh, the focus of this one really is just the dungeon and the creatures. Uh, like, half of the, like, the past few episodes, like, the actual creatures themselves, like, you know, that they've been okay, like, they've been yeah. passable and stuff, but it's like, it's... It almost feels like all the really cool designs like that they sort of had, like, in the first season, stuff like that, uh, seem to come out in, like, two or three episodes where you know they just put a lot of effort into it. And this seemed like that episode, like, even the friggin' chairs, like, in that room with the fruit witches or whatever they yeah. were, like, even the chairs look great, yeah. you know, and just every design looks so cool. And I was asking before those hot dog and hamburger <laughs> monsters, how can those not be toys? They make toys of all these characters. How can those not be toys? I'm asking you, because I know you because make the toys in secret. Okay, because this world is full of idiots, and I could see a bunch of dumb kids trying to eat them. And choking and dying. I have no faith in humanity, and I can see most idiot kids doing that. <laughs> Sorry, kids are choking on, like, swords and stuff like that. You place a little fake hamburger, they're going to be like, Oh, yummy! <laughs> well, clearly they should put these toys are for adults. <laughs> oh, because that stops kids from playing with them. Yeah, well, but they know what they're getting into when they buy them at least. Danger toys. <laughs> <laughs> Danger, so. don't be an idiot and do not eat this. <laughs> Yeah, but we have warning labels on bleach that says do not drink. We have warning labels on coffee. <laughs> That's true. McDonald's coffee. That's every time I see that, I always snicker like, wow, just it just constantly proves what a dumb world we live in. Every time now you that. wonder why they don't make action figures of hot dogs <laughs> and burgers. They used to. Yeah, that what was that? Do you remember those? It, it was like those it was were awesome. Food fight, I think it was called Food Fight. Yeah. yeah. Not the horrible movie that everybody wants me to review right now. I don't know that movie, but it's like all these food spokes characters come together and apparently it's just god awful so maybe i'll review it I, like everyone's sending me requests to do it so maybe i will i don't know but um back to this episode um, uh i disagree with you by the way oh what i do not think it was about just the dungeon i think it was definitely about you know the way that finn's dad was in a sense trying to toughen up finn well but he was only a baby at that point he only saw him as a baby i mean that's not no, he knew this was. He knew this was going to be for later on. Because remember, uh, in the beginning, where BMO is sitting there, you know, all excited because you know Jake is changing into things. You see the sparkles 
that they tried to beat up. Uh. And they find the first one, and it says, Oh, you finally found this. My life, I'm dead, and my sparkles have sent you to this, finally. Mm. So, no, he made it for the future Finn. For when Finn got older. Mm. And yeah, it was, but like, it was why, all set up for that. Why would he assume he would be a wimp? <laughs> because if you notice, when he holds up Finn and, uh, Finn and Jake, and just squeezes them, you guys are babies, and he squeezes them... Uh, Jake starts giggling and laughing, and Finn starts crying. But he's clearly then, not a wimp, though. And then I they mean... stop, and you see him squeeze Finn again and have this nasty look on his face as Finn is crying. But, but Finn is clearly not a wimp, though, so why... But his dad's dead. His dad's dead, been, been dead for a while. But, so that's why I mean, he's making the assumption as he's a baby. Well, yeah, of course he's making the assumption. Well, that's but not... But he's setting it up for that later time when Finn is older. But he doesn't know he's going to be like when he's older. He should be a better parent, not make a dungeon to no, toughen that's... him up. He should toughen him up from that age But onward. that's my point, though. I think it's more about that. It's more about the whole parents wanting more from their kids instead of wanting their kids to just be who they are. You need to be better than you are. Don't be yourself. But even then, his dad—that's what he was doing. His dad sort of gets off scot free. They're just like, "Dad was cool." Yeah, <laughs> it's like they totally forget about what a jerk he was when he <laughs> did all this stuff. I, no, I won't argue that. I won't argue that at all. But I mean, then again, he doesn't prison a demon partially into a sword. I mean, that's not the best thing in the world. I, I will ask this: when the when the demon drags him in, are we to assume that's how he died? Um, at this point in time, uh, yeah. Um, from my memory, I don't think they say anything else about how he dies. I mean, we don't that's see... That's probably what... No, that's not true. Because, uh, the demon's chained there, and there's that video afterward. Yeah, that's right, so he must um, Unless he made it out of order, but yeah. That could be tough. possible, too, but... But then it's inside. Yeah, that's true. So you would have to put it in there. Yeah, I don't know. But no, but that would make sense. So he could put the video in there and then put the demon in. And then he's going to... But he had to put the video... I because don't Because remember, know. he was recording it from outside. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no, as far as... He had to chain the demon down, so clearly he did. Yeah, because they never... As far as I remember, they don't say how uh, their father dies. Mm. Um, again, actually, going back to the whole thing of people getting a little worked up over silly things... I remember when they initially were talking about Finn and Jake being brothers, uh -huh. and you were having a little trouble wrapping your head around it. Uh -huh. People were really upset, going, how can you not know what adoption is? What's wrong with you? Well, I mean, it's... People were getting upset with that, too, and it's like, yeah, you're getting way too upset. Yeah, well, I'll say, but, but you don't adopt a brother for a dog. <laughs> well, I'm just, a human sentient, brother for a dog. They're but yeah, beings. Well, yes, that's... I, Put that together now, but in reality, excuse me if my brain doesn't immediately jump to, oh, when a dog, a talking dog and a boy are adopted, they can be brothers. It's like, it takes me a minute to get used to the Adventure Time world. World. So. No, I'm just, I just, it just made me remember back to that episode and people getting upset going, Doug, what's wrong with you? How can you not know it? I'm like, <laughs> wow, yeah, people get really peeved. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, yeah, I put it together now. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, no, I mean, th this one, it, it seemed mostly about, you know, the journey and fighting these cool uh, creatures and stuff like that, and, and it was cool. Um, they have this talent of making things that are not dirty or gross look dirty and gross like that <laughs> green monster with all the lumps i mean it's like it's lumpy stuff so what but they give it these little hairs and just the right side and when he squeezes that thing in the middle it's not even an area that would be anything perverted but it just looks like the most dirty thing in the world when he does that well they also well when they first look at him you see these like three spots where it just squirts out a liquid and it's like <laughs> what <laughs> It's, it's quite impressive to do that, to actually make something disgusting that's really... You can't quite say why it's disgusting. <laughs> Plus, so. how awesome would that be to just be like, dude, you're ugly as hell, and you'd be like, what's going on? Oh, we're bros. We tell us we tell each other the truth. Yeah, no, I thought that was very funny. It's like, yeah, just tell you the truth, man, and you are gross. It's just like, you know, oh, thanks, it's awesome. It's like, I just, again, with Finn, you could kind of buy that. It's like, no, I'm totally serious. Like, he, he really believes it. No, I'm, I'm being true with you, man. You're gross, and I, I'm helping you out, and then he's being helped out. It's just, a, that's the kind of world they create. I just love that. It's the kind of people they create. So it's, yeah. 
it, it, it's fun. I love that. I love that kind of attitude. Uh, so, yeah, I liked it. You know, it, it was fun. It was definitely a fun, very creative uh, episode. I want to see those hot dog hamburger toys. Screw the children that'll die from them. Oh, I'm all fine with that. Get, get rid of the dumb kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, a plastic hot dog. <laughs> no, come back here. Yeah. No, come back. No, we're gonna end it. Don't make out with your wife. Oh. Don't do ghost sex. <laughs> Wait, you're just gonna show your crotch and that's it? <laughs> My crotch is awesome? Hello. It, it, yeah, it is. See? The reason I called you back here, young man. Yes. It's because now you get to do the fancy line. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I, just, I don't know, but it's not that hard. Well, then and do it! All you have to do is sit here and say, oh, blah, blah, blah. My opinion of this is blah, blah, blah. There you go, see? I'll see you next episode. Oh, which is uh, the appearance of one of my favorite characters. First appearance of one of my favorite characters. <laughs>